Alrighty there guys, what is up? So we're just picking up where we left up on the last episode after I'd just gotten through that really hardcore fight and if you uh, haven't seen that one then um, I'll uh, link it down in the description or I'll put a link on it just on the uh, top should be on the top right hand side of the screen um, I forget if that feature was taken out but I, I think it's still there yeah I should I should be able to link it right there so this time um, when I went back I was like okay I need to uh, I seriously need to heal but more than that uh, when I get to this guy <laughs> I need to be prepared to fight him which I probably was not so yeah died <laughs> Yeah, it was uh, it was fairly inevitable at that point because um, at that stage, I mean, I had no no health left. I had no replenishments left, and uh, I didn't even know how to use. I had, uh, if you look at my left s my left slot right there, uh, I have something allocated to it that shouldn't really be allocated to that slot. I mean, there's no reason to have that allocated to that slot at that time. But um, yeah, if you're wondering why. I'm fighting the same guys over again. It's because um, in games like this, I hesitate to use the word souls-like, but in games like this, you tend to... Um, it's very punishing. So they want you to fight the same enemies over and over again every time you die. And uh, the shrine that you start at in the beginning, um, that shrine, if you go there and you pray, it will reset your health and it will restore your um, abilities and what have you but it also immediately resets all the enemies <laughs> so you'd have to go through the entire section again if you do that um, if you go back there which is uh, as you can imagine quite frustrating So what do you think? How did I fare the second time around? <laughs> it, it definitely, it definitely looks a lot more calculated because I was trying to be a lot more calculated. Um, but you know, you know, you know, it can only last so long. So um, yeah, check out how I handle these other fights. So, uh, yeah, I was using mid stance most of the time right now. If you're not familiar with those stances, also check out the video that I have linked in the description, uh, the previous episode to this. Or you can just uh, watch the whole playlist if you um, look on the playlist section of the channel. I have uh, cataloged all my videos according to playlists. So you can just click on the playlist and it will play all of the playthroughs, um, even from the ones I did, like. Uh, many years ago, like from 2018 and stuff like that. Um, yeah, check this fight out, you. I triggered two people, and I actually managed to get through it. Oh, 
Oh, I felt real badass afterwards when I was like looking at that, at his stance, like with the, the high stance, and <laughs> just like after I chopped that guy up, wow, I felt like, woo, like that's the cool thing about these games is that you, you may die a lot. It's they're really punishing. They are really punishing. Um, but to be fair, so were the games that um, came out like uh, any game that you played in like the early nineties or the eighties or. Uh, the early 2000s as well, it, they were all really quite difficult, so um, this is just kind of modeled after that, but yeah. Yep, died again. And it's because I was trying the high stance. I should have just been more calculated. And the sucky thing is that when you die, you lose all the points that you had. So it's like souls, but instead of souls, it's points. Yeah. But anyway, come back next time.